Number three. I respectfully acknowledge the past and present traditional owners, the Noongar people. I also acknowledge the contributions of all Australians to the health and well-being of all people in this country, which we all live in and share together, Australia. Don't you think it's time for you to quit now, Trev? No more room in that ashtray, eh? If Kylie can do it, so can I. Hey, I want to quit, but I'm worried about the withdrawals. That's good news, Trevor. And yes, nicotine withdrawals can affect the body in many ways, so it's good to have support as you're quitting. Nicotine is the addictive substance in cigarettes. Once you stop smoking, you can experience withdrawals because your brain isn't getting the nicotine anymore. These could include things like cravings, mood swings like anger or depression, difficulty sleeping or getting agitated. You'll also cough a lot more as your lungs are cleaning themselves from those 7,000 plus chemicals. There are a couple of different methods to help you quit. Method one, cold turkey, where you can try quitting without any aids to help. Method two, using nicotine replacement therapies, NRTs, like patches, gums, inhalers or mists to give your body small doses of nicotine and wean you off it slowly. This will help with those withdrawals you're worried about. Method three, prescription medications from your doctor, such as Champix or Zyban. These work for some people to numb the receptors in your brain so that you may no longer be interested in smoking. What about this vaping thing? That can help me quit. We don't recommend e-cigarettes or vaping. There's no evidence that they help you to quit and we don't know what the long-term health effects are. Other things you can do are make the car and house smoke-free areas. See Trev, there are lots of different methods that you can try to find which works best for you. The methods are only the first part. The other is yarning with me for support and strategies to focus on the triggers, like the habit or routine, dealing with stress, alcohol and other social situations to make you more likely to quit and quit for good getting support from others. Just knowing that there is someone there for you if you need to have a yarn and respect your choice. Also, remove anything that reminds you of smoking, such as lighters, matches and ashtrays. In just 20 minutes, your heart rate, body temperature and blood pressure can come back to normal. After eight hours, your oxygen levels normalize as the carbon monoxide levels drop. 24 hours later, your chance of heart attack decreases, and within two days, you start growing nerve endings. After three months, your lung function increases, and after a year, your life expectancy goes up. Memory free. I feel so much better. I can see, Trev, like you're bursting with energy. Your story can be just like Trev's. Give our quitting support teams a call, or better yet, come in and have a yarn about how we can help you become Nyamri free.